of the county government of Wasimbishu and the people of this county. We want to pass our sincere condolences to the family of Mze Moi and to the entire republic uh, for the loss of Mze. As county government and the people of Wasimbishu and people of Kenya, we remember retired President Moi for the many development programs he initiated in this country. Of great importance is the love of President Moi for education. All of us are aware that during his tenure as a president, most national secondary schools were established across this country to make sure that the children of Kenya could get access, not just to education, but to quality education. Besides uh, secondary schools, during his tenure, the university of education in this country grew exponentially, and it gave a chance to Kenya to establish a very strong labor force for the country to develop. As a nation, we greatly mourn the loss of a great leader who held this country together for 24 years of his presidency. Aliweza kufanya mambo mazuri sana katika nchi yetu. Alikuwa mtu ambaye alipenda uhiano na kwa wakati mwingi alihakikisha kwamba taifa la Kenya linaungana na linasonga mbele. Na hakuna wakati hata mmoja ambaye hakuweza to respond to any crisis that faces the, the society. He was a friendly person, God-fearing, and his love to God is not questionable. You remember very well that every Sunday in the evening, it was reported that he was part of the Christians that prayed. So we really mourn an icon of this country, a statesman, a man who made Kenya recognized in the world. Kenya influenced the affairs of the world, especially in this region, that peace initiatives were always centered and discussed from Nairobi. We mourn a great leader. We want to remember him for very good things. He has been a leader for a president for 24 years in this nation. He has been a, deputy, a vice president for 12 years, and he has left an indelible mark of development, of loving education. He was a, a peace-loving statesman that we want to remember him for. I want to remember him for that period. We call it the Nyayo era. He believed in following the Nyayo of the former, the first president of this republic. And he worked so hard to ensure there was peace in this nation. He loved edu education. And I'm sure all the children that are now grown-ups remember him for the Nyayo milk. So there are many things that we can remember the, uh, the retired president for. He was a God-fearing man, and we want to ebb some of those uh, good, good things that he taught us as leaders of this nation, that we must be peace-loving, that we should be able to support one another, uh, love our leaders, respect our leaders, and above all, be leaders that can be counted in the leadership of this nation. As a county, we can look back and say we are privileged for some of the services that Pres President Moy was able to initiate in our region. One of it being the second national referral hospital, the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital, the third international airport, which is Eldred International Airport, and I'm glad that today we can look back at those projects and proudly say they are successful and has helped this nation to move forward. When I look back during the establishment of Eldred International Airport, a number of opposition leaders then said that, you know, this was going to be a white elephant. Today, I meet a majority of them at Eldred International Airport and they agree that if it were not for this airport then, transportation and communication to the western part of Kenya would have been extremely very difficult. And we therefore look back as a county and as a nation and say that indeed President Moi made a positive contribution to this country, to this continent, particularly in matters peace. Countries like Sudan, who spend a lot of years in fights 
communities displaced in hunger. Today, they can look back and say, if it were not for President Moi to initiate and chair the peace initiatives, then South Sudan and Sudan generally would not be where it is. We remember President Moi also played a great role in the peace initiatives in Somalia. And you remember transition government of Somalia was in this country for almost more than a year. We therefore owe a lot to the late retired President Moi for his contribution and we recognize that he made a mark, left a mark, not just in Kenya, not just in this continent, but also in the world in his quest for peace and an environment for humanity to thrive. So as a county, we want to sincerely pass our contest as a family and to the nation and, and together as a county, we mourn with them and we want to acknowledge that indeed we have lost an icon. For those of us in leadership, there are a number of things we can borrow from the same way. One is humility, two is forgiveness. And we all remember the last speech of President Moi uh, when he addressed the nation in the national holiday. And he said, if there is anybody I have wronged in my time of leadership, I forgive. I ask for forgiveness. And those who have wronged me, I also forgive them. So today we can say that indeed Moi rested as a great leader in peace, having made peace with everybody. And I think as leaders, we should learn from that and learn to forgive and learn to move on and work as a team.